Welcome to Module 3! Well, you just finished studying creation. What could possibly be next? Well, Chapter 4 tells how the Pentateuch was formed. Pentateuch is simply the Greek word for the Torah, which is the Hebrew word. Penta means five, and so it is the first five books of the Old Testament, or the Tanakh, the Hebrew Bible. Uh, chapter 5 focuses on the accounts of humanity after creation. These are very familiar stories. Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden and original sin. Cain and Abel. It leads to Noah and the Ark. The discovery that there is a flood story in almost every major ancient religion. What does that mean? Well, it was either not a worldwide flood and every religion has a local flood story, or a worldwide flood actually happened and every religion recounted it. You decide. We also see the Tower of Babel, probably located in what would become Babylon. And we see Abraham and the story of God making a covenant with him. God would provide land and descendants and Abraham and his family would follow him and set themselves apart from other tribes through circumcision. Abraham has two sons, Ishmael, whose ancestors include Muhammad, and the second son, Isaac, who is the Jewish son of promise. God reaffirms his covenant with Isaac's son, Jacob, and changes his name to Israel. And Jacob's 12 sons, or Israel's 12 sons, and their descendants become the 12 tribes of Israel. Um, one of Jacob's sons, Joseph, is sold into slavery and becomes responsible for saving all of his brothers and their descendants when they moved to Egypt during the seven years of famine. After 500 or so years in Egypt, the Israelites became slaves to the Egyptians and were eventually led out of Egypt by God's chosen leader, Moses. But that's next week. Enjoy Module 3 and we will see you next week.